puzzle presented today was authored by Rakesh Rai for his competition Pentaka Ideka that was hosted on the Logic Masters India website in September 2019. Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. Now, as you are aware, we have requested our patrons to let us know if they wish us to create a walkthrough on a specific variant that they would like to see. So in that context, we received a message yesterday from Anu Ganesh asking us to create a walkthrough on Exam Sudoku. So if you have any specific variant in mind which you would like us to cover, do not hesitate to leave a comment on the video. We will be closely monitoring those and the variant that most people request for will be chosen. So since we are going to be creating your videos on your request I hope you all have subscribed if you have not done so I suggest you do that right away and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you are notified as and when we create new content for you so coming to the puzzle the rules yes just like the classic rules no digit can repeat in a row column or a 3 by 3 box now you will see that there are certain digits outside the grid what this means is the digits outside the grid denote the sum of the first x numbers in that direction. So where x is the digit in the first cell in that corresponding direction. So just to elaborate, now when you see this as this 10, right? So what it means is, if suppose this was a 3, right, let's just say assuming a 3 or 4, then if this was a 3, why then, then the first three cells in this direction will add up to 10. But if this was a 4, then what that would mean is the first four digits in that direction will add up to 10. Similarly, each number specifies from that specific direction. Hope that's clear. So before we actually get into the solving, here one thing that really helps us is knowing the sum of the least numbers. For example, I know if I were to take three smallest numbers in a Sudoku, they would all the minimum sum I would have is a six. Correct? Now how do you we use that information here. So when I look at this 6, I know the first digit cannot be greater than 3 because if I have 4, the sum of the 4 smallest digits will always be 10, more than 6. So what can be my numbers here? So obviously I can't have a 1 because the first number, if 1 means the first number has to be equal to the digit mentioned out the number mentioned outside the grid so obviously this has to be 2 and 3 which basically means if this is a 2 this would have to be a 4 if this is a 3 this would be a 1 2 and a 1 2 clear so how do we, this is how we'll be using this information so for example here 10 we know that the first four smallest digits that's one two three and four add up to ten which basically means i cannot have anything greater than four in the first cell here because if i have a five then the sum of the first five all smallest digits would be 15 correct so i know for sure it has to be from between one and four obviously i can't have a one because one by itself is not equal to ten so this has to be a 2 or a 3 but if this was a 2 
then I should have the sum of 10 within the with the first two digits, which means I would require an 8 here, correct? But I know I already have an 8 here, so obviously this can't be a 2, this has to be a 3, which means these two numbers will have to add up to 7. Again, for this 10, I would require 2, 3 and 4. 3 we already have in the box. 2, just like the first 10, I can't have a 2 because that would require a 8 here, which is just not possible. So we know for sure this has to be a 4, which basically means this will be 1, 2, 1, 2 and this has to be a 3 because the first 4 digits have to add up to 10. Correct? So for this 10, now if this is 3, if this is a 1, this has to be a 6, but if it's a 2, it has to be a 5, because these two have to add up to 7. Now, let's look at the higher number. We have a 40 here. Now, we know that all the 9 digits add up to 45. So which basically means, exam, I'm just citing an example, not in actuality. If this was a 5, if the first 5 digits are adding up to 40, then the other 4 numbers, the 4 cells, have to add up to 5. So that we have the complete sum of 45 for that specific row. But we know the minimum sum of 3 digits is 6. Hence, I can only get 5 from either one cell or where it will have the digit 5 itself or two cells where the digits can be 1, 4 or 2 and 3. Correct? So which basically means this has to be a 7 or an 8. I can't have an 8 because of this. Right? So this has to be a 7 which basically means these two numbers add up to 5 because the first 7 cells are adding up to 40. Now for a 5, I know it has to be 2, 3 or 2, 3 here. But which number comes where? If I have this as a 2 here in R8C9, then obviously this 2 means these 2 will have to add up to 6, but I know they add up to 5. So we know this has to be a 3 and this will be a 2 that gives me a 1 here. So this way we have made, taken care of the 40. We know for the first cell has to be a 7 and the 6 also has been accounted for. Same case with this 40. Again, I know it has to be between 7 and 8, but we have a 7 in the grid, so this has to be an 8. Which basically means, if the first 8 digits in the column are adding up to 40, then the last digit has to be a 5, so that I have the sum of 45 for that column. Clear? Right? So there we go. So that's how we use the sum of 45 to play around and find the digits at the opposite end of the sums that have been mentioned. Similarly, let's have a look at this 20. Now we know the sum of the first 6 digits, 1 to 6, is 21. Which basically means the first digit here cannot be a 6 or a greater number. It has to be between 1 and 5. The first digit, obviously 1 can never come here. The 1 can only be in the first cell only and only if the outside sum is mentioned as 1. Otherwise, we can always and safely eliminate 1 from the first digit. I cannot have a 2 as well because the, my, to get the sum of 20, I would require an 18 here, which is just not possible. 3 and 4 are obviously ruled out because of the row. So the only number is 5 that has to be there. Rujava, again for 30, I know I cannot have a 1 or a 2, 3, 4, 5 are eliminated, 7 and 8 are also eliminated, so this has to be a 6, which basically means the first 6 cells are adding up to 30, so the last 3 have to sum up to 15, right? Again let's look at this, again it's a 20, so I cannot have a 6 or a greater number. 4 and 5 have been used up. 2 we know we can't have because I can't bring an 18 here. So which basically means this has to be a 3. 
So if I have three digits adding up to 20, the second and third digit has to add up to 17. And the only possibilities are 8 and a 9. So that's how we start filling in the pencil marks from the borders and work our way to the inside of the grid. And let's have a look at 11. Now I know the smallest four digit sum for 11 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Correct? But since though that we have four digits adding up to 11, I cannot have a 4 there because 4 is not part of those four digits. The four digits are 1, 2, 3 and 5. So if I have a 4, I would require the other three numbers to add up to 7. And three digits adding up to 7, the only possibility is 1, 2 and 4, which would make a duplication for the 4. Hence I know I cannot have a 4 and 5 is obviously ruled out because the sum of the first 5 digits is always 15. So this has to be smaller than a 4. 1 can never be there. As I said earlier, 1 can only come in the first cell if the outside sum is mentioned as a 1. So the only possibilities are 2 and 3. I have a 3, so I have the only uh, number that can come in is a 2, which means this has to be a 9 so that the first two digits are adding up to 11. Right? Now let's look at the first row. The missing numbers are 1, 2 and 9. With 1, 2 here, this has to be a 9. This will become a 2 and a 1. The reason being we have a 2, so I can't have a 2 here. Right? And here I required 1, 2 and 6. Okay. I can't have a 1 and a 2 for a 30, so this has to be a 6. This becomes a 1, 2, and this is my 1, 2. But with this 2, obviously, this will become a 1, and this will become a 2. Good. Now, so this also would be a 5 and a 6. Right. Now, what next? 14. Obviously, first 5 numbers. 15. So I cannot have a 5. 4. Not possible. So it's only 2 and 3 but 2 already is there and 2 again I can't have because this cannot be a 12. So this is a 3 which basically means these two digits have to add up to 11 so that the first three digits are adding up to 14 right. The possibilities of 11 are 9 and 2 not possible. 8 and 3 is also not possible because we've already used up the 3. 7 and 4 yes. 6 and 5 again is not possible because the 6 is already given. So which basically means 4 and 7 are the only digits that again. So 4, 4 would make this a 4. And this would be a 6, 9, 6, 9. Correct? Now, 5, 5 means 5 has to be here, but with this 5, this is a 5, right? So that's 6, 8 and 9, all right. So I require a 13, 9, 1, 3 is possible, 8, 2, 3 is possible. Now oh, there are a lot of possibilities, so let's not go into that. Now, let's have a look at this. This sum is 30, right? Which basically means these three have to add up to 15, correct? Now, one thing I always use here is three digits adding up to 15, which basically means the average number is a five, right? 15 by 3. I know obviously I can't have a 555 five, five there, but this is a technique that I use personally for myself. So basically to get the sum of 15, assuming if there is a 5 in among them, then one digit would be lesser than 5, the other has to be greater than 5. I can't have all three digits greater than 5 or less than 5 because they'll never add up to 15. 
correct? So whichever combination is used to get the sum of 15, I know for sure there will be one number which will be less than 5, correct? So let's see. I can definitely have a 1 because the possibility of 1 is here or here. So, but if this was a 1, these two will have to add up to 14. And the only options for sum of 14 are 9 and 5, 6 and 8. And I see that with the 6 given here and a 9 already there in the box, I can't have the combination for a 14. So, I know for sure 1 can never be here. So, for now, I'll just finish off with that 1 here. All right. 2 can never be a part of this sum because we already have a 2 here. That leaves me with 3 and 4, right? Because as I said, there has to be one digit which is less than 5 in the sum of 50. So, if I have a 3 here, then I have to have the other 2 adding up to 12, which can be 4 and 8, or 5 and 7, which is possible. So, I know, now if this was a 4, Correct? Then I would require the other two digits to add up to 11. 9 and 2 is not possible. 5 and 6 is not possible. Again, since a 4 is already used, 4 and 7 also is not possible. So the only option for 11 is 3 and 8, which again brings us to the point that 3 is inherently a part of the sum. Whether the lesser number be 3 or 4, even if it is 4, 3 is getting dragged into that sum. So we have 3, 4 and 8. But if it is a 3, it can be 3, 4, 8 or 3, 5, 7. Irrespective of which combination comes in, a 3 has to be part of these, the sum of 15. So by classic rules, this is a 3. The 3 is locked here. This is not a 3. So this has to be a 3. Right? 7. 7, 7. Now with a 7, I require a sum of 8 in the other two. Since 3 is part of that sum, this has to be a 3 and a 5 because of this 3. Right? Good so far? By classic rules, 4 cannot be here. So this becomes a 4. This becomes an 6, I'm sorry. And this becomes an 8. Right? So, what do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. 4 and 7 are here, so this has to be a 5. So, this becomes a 6, which basically means this is a 2 and this is a 1. So, with the 2 here, it cannot be here. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 7 are required, so this is 7 and a 4 because of this and by classic rules 4 is here and here because so we have wrapped up all the 4's right now for this 30 again I know this has to be a sum of 10 because the 5 has been used up so it, 6 and 4 3 and 7 are ruled out so it is either 2 8 or 1 9 we'll leave that aside for now this was 6, 8, 9. So this again is an 8, 9, 8, 9. This becomes a 3. So this is a 3 and this is a 6. 6, 6, 9, and this becomes a 9, 9, 5, 2. Right? So here I require a 1, 9, 1, 9. Then this would be a 8 and a 7. So now 5 cannot be here, so this is my 5. This again becomes a 1, 9. 1, and 2 and 7 are required. 7 and 2, 2, sorry, 2, 2. This is a 2. 1 and 6 makes this 6. So 1, this becomes a 6. This is a 6. This again is an 8, 9. This becomes a 1, 8, 9, 8, 9. 
this okay. again is an 189 now when I look at this 20 the first 5 have to add up to 20 right so 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus 7 15 and 4 19 so we already have 19 so this has to be a 1 this becomes my 9 so I have a 1 here okay 30 so the last three have to be 15 right so I have 6 this is a 9 9 that's all now 17 first 4 2 3 and 4 add up to 9 so I require an 8 here to get the sum of 17 and that was how this was supposed to be solved this was really a wonderful puzzle and I'm really sorry I think I forgot to mention earlier my apologies this puzzle was authored by Rakesh Rai for one of the contests held at Logic Masters India last September which was called Pentakaitika I'm sorry I'm really bad at pronunciations yeah Pentakaitika if I'm not mistaken that was the competition that was held in September 2019 at logicmastersindia.com and this puzzle was authored by Rakesh Rai it wasn't a very difficult puzzle but it was very beautifully designed how I mean it was smoothly unraveling as you progressed so I hope you guys enjoyed this video If you did, do like and share it with your friends. As I said, please let us know in the comments section which variant you would like us to create a walkthrough on. Right? If you have not already subscribed, I would suggest you do that right away. And till the next time, happy solving.